Number one, <clears throat> first and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha, Rakakwadash, Mama. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well, Aharwan, Banyasha Allah, the Lions Den Camp here in Jackson Road, Florida. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Atwafim, and Trojan that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, Athanya Allah, back to you with another lesson in Yaharatazah. It's edifying. And um, just like a new good news update going into um, famine. All right. Um, as the article really goes into how the Federal Reserve is going to try to suppress inflation. All right. But it says recession will hit the U.S. in 2024. So get ready for massive interest rate cuts. U.S. UBS says. All right. But again, as the scriptures say, man, uh, can a leopard change his spots? All right. You know what the Lord have set in stone and, or, and ordained to come to this place, which is famine, plagues. All right. Judgment. They're not going to be able to turn it back. All right. Even if they uh, try to. All right. It said the Federal Reserve will sl slash interest rates by an eye opening 275 basis points next year, according to the UBS. That's nearly four times as steep a cut as the market is expecting. UBS expects a mid-2024 recession to encourage the central bank to start easing. All right, but you know, that's all the devil's game and trick. All right, they're not going to be easing at all. All right, it's not, you know, even though they use things, you know, like that to try to, um, things, quantitative. like quantitative easing. All right. Quantitative easing is a monetary policy action. All right. Where central bank purchases predetermined amounts of government bonds or other financial assets in order to stimulate economic activity. But what, uh, what else could they grab any other resources and things to stimulate this economy? All right. Um, even when Trump was office, they was uh, giving out free money to the people to stimulate the con economy through something called a stimulus to um, help the people purchase, buy, buy more, you know. Um, but again, there's no there's no easing of this economy. All right. The Lord has a judgment set over Babylon. All right. Over uh, America. All right. Babylon, the great. And they're not going to be able to turn it back with their um there are different policies and tactics that they've done before, all right, of trying to suppress uh, inflation with interest rate cuts. But I'm going to jump down to a point that I wanted to um, get. It was in another article, like it compared this to the roaring 20s, but I read leading up to that. But it says since March 2022, the Fed has lifted borrowing costs from near zero to around 5.5 percent in a bid to clamp down on soaring prices. Inflation hit a four decade high of 9.1 percent in June. All right. So out of 40 years, it hit its highest. Or I believe decades like around 10 years. So four decades, about 40 years it have reached its highest. All right. And I believe they always have a chart roughly around like 50 years, estimately, of, um, you know, the inflation or, or you know, uh, you know how they watching the um, interest rates, so to speak. But that was of last year. It went up to the highest, but has since started to cool. So they say, although it's still running way clear of the central bank's two percent target. Right. So. They saying it's cooler than nine percent, but it's above two percent. All right, which anything above two percent is in inflation. All right. So again, they're trying to make it sound sweet and cool, right? This is how they speak in code as well. But it's nothing that they're gonna be able to do to ease the pain. All right. The Lord is like uh, giving birth. All right. You're not gonna be able to stick that child back up into the womb. But um, it says Jason Royal Dreho said in a presentation that the U.S. economy's surprising resilience this year has set the stage for a roaring 20s period defined by higher GDP growth, growth, domestic product growth, inflation, 
bond yields and interest rates. All right. So uh, due to their resilience. This year has set the stage for a roaring 20s, man. All right. Their negligence as is going to go. We're going to go into the book of second Edris. It speaks on how what because of this devil's pride, his cities are troubled. All right. One one way is going to be troubled is through famine. All right. Um, as well as hey, Jacob's trouble, uh, insurrection amongst men. All right. But the key thing here is topicing here is famine. The U.S. economy may be re relieving the roaring 20s. And that means growth, inflation and rates will all stay high. Right. Because after inflation, it goes into hyperinflation to where it's never going down. All right. The economy has to be completely reconstructed. But one of the first scriptures I want to get is the book of Matthew, chapter 24. And I start at verse 15. It says, Perilous times, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Now, this is speaking on a different time period. As right now, we don't have to physically flee. But according to uh, Jeremiah 51, we are to rise and depart because this is not our rest. All right. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. All right. Um, as far as spiritually. All right. So we don't be partakers of her plagues that's coming upon this place. All right. So, again, just as the uh, times of old, all right, the things that are written before time, they're written for our learning. All right. So just like in the times when the Lord himself were on the scene, giving this warning, giving this message to his to his men, all right? We're in those times today to those who are listening and learning, all right? Whoso readeth, let him understand that when we see the abomination of desolation, all right, being Esau, Edom, he's ruling right now, all right, for that little season, all right, from, uh, he's ruling right now for that little season, all right? Only he who will let until he be taken out of the way, all right? So right now he's ruling and we see that still to this day, all right, um, as this kingdom is not of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but the Lord is about to come and take this kingdom as well as subdue the rest of these kingdoms throughout the four corners of the earth and put them under his feet. All right, so just like in the times of old, we're in that same manner today as this devil is going to come down with great wrath pertaining to Revelations 12 and 12, because he knoweth he has but a short time pertaining to his end, his end of his rulership. As he's seeing um, his, advers his adversaries being set up against him, China and Russia, which is also biblical prophecy um, pertaining to uh, Ezekiel 38. All right. But this is verse 17. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Right. So we have to be focused. All right. Uh, you know, um, that straight gate on that narrow path on and focus. All right. Not deceived by the devil, his tactics, his tactics. All right. Um, one scripture come to mind is second Corinthians chapter two and verse 11. Lest by any means Satan shall get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. His media, um, his false doctrine, his, his philosophies. All right. That um, people come with. All right. Um, you know, his propaganda, so on and so forth. All right. We go stick to the script and uh, the things that we have learned. All right. And that's how he's not going to be able to deceive the elect. The elect. All right. But it says, verse 19, and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. Right. And that's the times of old. All right. As even in the times of now. All right. Those who are not. In the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, having a uh, minds focused on family, all right, where your true family is, those who do the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as he's going to save men, women, and children, all right, in, th in these times, in that day, all right, when the day that the day that's fastly approaching, all right, judgment, all right, but it's only those who are dwelling in spirit and in truth. But it's woe, woe, to, it means destruction unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days, right? Like the ones that's going to be given the marriage, all right? Uh, as in the days of Noah, you know, being blinded, being asleep to what's being presented, which is salvation. 
verse 20 but pray ye that your fight be not your flight be not in the winter neither on the sabbath day all right so you don't want your flight to be in winter neither in the sabbath day all right really in the uh the the the, the times that you would be covered by your about shim yahweh shai all right that you would uh be put up at rest all right in the spirit of your about shim yahweh shai i pray that you you're not in in flight in those days look at that turn flight G5437. Strong's G5437. Fugay. 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 Hope your fugay, your flight, a fleeing, escape. Like when you have to flee or escape. All right. Because what? He's coming with that insurrection, that great wrath. All right. Those perilous times. But pray that those times don't come to you off guard. All right, to where you're not prepared. You haven't been measuring the times diligently in itself. All right, taking advantage of the Lord's grace. But um, from there, when it gets second Ezra's. Verse 16. Chapter 16, and I'll start at verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And this Ezra is speaking. All right. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. You know, and, uh, the, uh, uh, Ezra was speaking to an angel and then Yahweh Shai stepped in. All right. I'm not sure where where at he where where he who he's speaking to at this point all right but it says uh here in verse 19 behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment all right but for all an amendment is what for correction all right all this is for correction for those who are dwelling in wickedness those who don't who are not doing what how about shim Shah has set up for you to do all right um, focusing on his will what he's coming to do so and so forth but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right. They're going to still be headlong for destruction. As the scriptures say, there's a way that may seem right to a man, but the end thereof is death. All right. Because what the Lord has put the world in their hearts to where they're they're, they're being given the um, prayer of King David. All right. To where their, their back is being bound down always to transgress against the Lord. So the Lord can put forth the righteous indignation upon them, all right? Because he 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 don't want us. He don't want a particular uh, few, all right? He's go he's go put them over to the left with the goats. Verse twenty one. Behold, victual shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evil grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And these are the times that we're coming into. All right, the victual shall be so good and cheap on earth because people think it's they're a good case. All right, they don't want to acknowledge that the prices are high. They haven't came down since post planning All right, the um the uh, oil prices. All right, so on and so forth. All right, they they're trying to fake the funk and, and try to uh, put up a facade as if everything is all fine and dandy. All right, because what they have that westernized mindset, that modern day mindset, of keeping up with the Joneses, you know, um, you know how Jake is, you know, showboating, but not coming to the reality of the situation that is at, that's at hand man. how hey, we're at a spiritual war and you're going to lose without the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, simple and plain. Like it sounds cliche, but without the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of what's going on out here you get that through the scriptures man you you get what's going on through the economy what's going on through the weather all right uh through the scriptures so what victual shall be good and cheap upon earth you know they can still get up and go buy a loaf of bread you know um and it's not overbearing all right but soon a loaf of bread is gonna be like fucking getting your alternator changed 
your radiator change. It's gonna cost that much and you go wonder why. It says what victuals shall be good and cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, right? Even then it's gonna get worse. Sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down, man, right? You know, the grinding shall cease to what is not at the corner and even go be at on, on the clock. All right, he's he, the bodies just go pile up out here in Babylon. All right, the grass is just gonna continue to grow on the buildings. All right, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna start being that uh, dark and wilderness place that the scripture is gonna uh, prophesied it to, to 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 end up being. All right, of nocturnal animals and so on and so forth prior to nuclear destruction. All right, before it get wiped out and get melted. All right, first and foremost, like you know. But from there, I want to get the book of uh, Revelations, chapter 6. And I just get a point in verse 5. On the third seal, famine. And when he had opened the third seal, right? And the seal just represent like the prophecies unfolding. All right. Um, that's going to lead up to the ultimate prophecy, which is that mushroom cloud. The, uh, you know, um, the MOTB, so on and so forth. All right. The judgment of this place. But it says, uh, the third seal, famine. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. All right. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Right. And black horse means just death. All right. Dark. Death. All right. Wickedness. Destruction, ultimately. And he that sat on him have a pair of balances in his hand. The balance is going to that yoke, all right? Yoke in slavery, all right? According to Deuteronomy chapter 28, um, the times of old, verse 68, and leading up to now to where this devil wants to put you in a, 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 a more of a slavery by tying the straw man to, a, to the buyer, all right? That's why he had a system set up with the uh, stock market or with birth certificates and your social security cards to where now he he's coming with the spiritual yoke. All right, he had a physical yoke, and now he's coming with the spiritual yoke, all right, of, of what, the new world order, the fourth industrial revolution, to where he's trying to put the man um, and connect it to the Internet of Things, all right, to where he ultimately have your number, he's going to have you tracked, all right, like a piece of um, equipment, all right, um, tagged as, as one of his, as those who give their spiritual allegiance to the beast and get tagged and, 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 and go and get his devices as far as Revelations 13, 15 on down um, re refers to, all right, the MOTB, which is the RFID microchip, all right, you're going to be destroyed right along with that device, right along with Esau, all right, here in his kingdom because you gave up your spiritual allegiance to the beast, to his system. Or you were just blind and the Lord walked you all the way uh, uh, to that, all right, to accept that. Or he didn't pull you up out of it, all right, if, you, if, if he's dealing, dealing with you in that manner, all right. You know, you're hoping to be um, cleansed ultimately, to be protected, all right, to be guarded all the way until that day of salvation, all right, if you listen and learn. You know, Yahweh Tazah, we're a part of that number. But it continues on. Um, from there, I want to go to Second Ezra chapter 15 and get a point. I start at verse 10. God, it's a good point. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, man. And that's those who are not dwelling in the spirit and truth. All right. They're, they're being asleep to what's being presented, which is salvation. And salvation is is being saved from a trap and the trap is being laid for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. And those of a speckled bird who may look like other nations, but bear the same spirit as such 
by way of the father, father's father, all right? The seed of their father's line, all right? They're lined up to back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, being Shemitic, all right? Um, Shem, going back to the sons of Noah. All right, so what? Their salvation is for them. They need to be saved out of a trap, all right? That's being set by the uh, the trap setter, all right? The fowler, which is Esau Edom. Again, he's trying to put that spiritual yoke upon the people, all right? Again, but those who hope in the Lord's mercy, his grace, and his salvation, all right? They, they know that what is a way out of that. You know, this system is being broken down for uh people hey for people to decide man all right you go believe in this devil to revamp a system we go believe in yahweh bashim yahweh shah that this system will never be sprung up again it'll never be healed all right verse 10 behold my people is led in this second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 10 Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right, and this is spiritually Egypt and Sodom, according to Revelation uh, 11, verse 8. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Right, so again, this is saying as before. You know, just showing you that this speaking on this, this, this house of bondage here in America. All right, as Egypt is a term synonymous for the house of bondage, and that represents America, all right, as well. All right. With plagues as before, and would destroy all the land thereof. And you can line that up with uh, Second Ezra, I mean, no, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. All right, we shall go into Egypt again with ships. All right. Verse 12. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall bring upon it, man. So it's the Lord bringing this, this uh, famine, all right? Esau can try to do quantitative easing all he want, like he did back in the times of old, but his, he's a one-trick pony, you know. Um, you, can, you, you, you know, you can show a dog a new trick, but he, you know, he's, this, this dog right here don't want to know learn a new trick. All right, he's stuck in his ways. He done got too old. All right, look at Joe Biden. All right. Well, you know, usually when a dog get old, he's more stubborn, hard to, uh, you know, train up. With, you know, that's why the scriptures even refer to train up the child the way you should go. You don't want to be stuck in your ways. All right, that's considered an old bottle. But uh, just more back to the point. Second Ezra's 10. And uh, that was verse 12. This, uh, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Man. All right. So what they have done to other countries is ultimately go come and be done here on U.S. soil. All right. By these Gurga troops, whoever, whatever the case may be. All right. They're saying it may be these Gurga troops, allegedly. All right, that's why they're coming over here in droves. All right, military aged men. All right, ready for war. And um, to wear them white and blue hats and help Esau put the nation of Israel, you Negroes, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, help them try to put you in slavery again. That's why the main thing that lady said on the news when um, the. I think the Palestinian uh, conflict and they were protesting here. It was like the, their main problem is young young black men in America. She sounded like Hillary Clinton. All right, like a, uh, it was like a super predators moment. All right, because that's that's ultimately what's being done throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Hosea chapter four. All right, that's the controversy throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, Yara Ratzada's lesson was. Edifying. This Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, ye children of Israel. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the land. Right? Who the, who the true children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is? All right? You know, the true Jews, which is the southern kingdom, the so called Negroes, 
the so-called uh, Haitians and the so-called uh, West Indian descents. Those are the Caribbean islands, all right? Uh, Southern Kingdom, particularly in Israel, just as a whole, all right? And that's why we ultimately in the neck of our enemy here in the land of the north, you know, waiting on that great, uh, hey, this is, this is the Lord's altar, that great salvation, all right? That great judgment of the Lord, all right? But that's the controversy throughout the four corners of the earth. It's all being done for your sake. All right, the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the Lord is putting this, this, this earth in a state of war to turn back our captivity. Verse 2, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood, touch of blood. And that's all this devil has done. All right, as he had um, been given, a, a, what, a, his blessing was the sword. All right, so that's what he did, man. He uh, raped, robbed, and murdered throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, not only uh, used and abused the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those of the speckled bird, but he used and abused the other nations as well, as what was 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 ultimately done unto people is going to ultimately come unto you, as uh, Habakkuk 2 and 7 uh, even refers to him having laddered himself with thick clay, all right, meaning what? Debt amongst these other nations, all right, to where what? He's in debt with these other nations, man, you know, um, to where... The Lord has risen these other nations against him to get their money back because he's ultimately in debt with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Because what he's touched with, the apple of the Lord's eye, all right? The Israelites. And what? He sweared falsely by his name, all right? Saying what? He loved God and God he trusts. And they did that using America, all right? Uh, by way of Eisenhower. All right, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood, touch of blood, man. So this is a bloody city. That's why the scriptures speak on what? Woe to this bloody city. The scum and prey depart, if not, you know, roughly paraphrasing. All right, so this is going to be a witness against them. Um, Exodus 21 and 20, roughly paraphrasing. It says what? Uh, if a man, still if a man, if he be found in his hand, he surely shall be put to death. So this righteous indignation that the Lord is bringing, all right, 20 and 21, maybe. Twenty-one and sixteen, it's like, you know, if, and if he stealeth a man and he selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death, man. You know, so the Lord just got, he has a, a, a law, all right, a constitution that never was abolished. That this devil has always transgressed. To where, when the Lord bring his judgment, he he still go, he he go reign righteously. It's like a, it was long overdue so to speak. But Shalom, Habitat, and DTA until the next one.